see guys, I just cracked into a lemon cayenne cavita, my absolute favorite flavor of cavita. Uh, the one I continuously repurchase and mention, it's Monday night. I had a long day and I'm relaxing with a little uh, fermented cavita here. I love this stuff. This is my favorite flavor. Um, it's got a little time. The spice to it, in my opinion, is, is quite, quite mild, but um, it's not for the faint of heart. I wouldn't, if you're a noob to this, I wouldn't make this my gateway flavor. I would suggest one of the sweeter ones like the strawberry guava or the mint mojito. Those are also very good. Mm. I like them all though, um, but anyways, so tonight I thought I would go through, um, you know, I've been trying out a lot of fun Asian skincare recently and in the vlogs I've been commenting on my experience and kind of trying to show you guys how I've been using these products and uh, it's been a ton of fun. And I basically tried everything uh, from my Asian skincare haul, which if you missed it, check it out. And I thought I would do tonight sort of a rundown on everything that I've tried and my opinion on it and some highlight some of my favorites, why they're my favorites, and then highlight some of the other ones that, um, you know, I wouldn't necessarily repurchase but um, I think are good. And then some, <laughs> some thumbs down ones, in my opinion. So hopefully this will be helpful to you. And as promised, the Amazonian delivered today. Actually, it wasn't the Amazonian. Is there a Japanese Amazonian? We got a package from Japan, guys. It was like the coolest thing ever. I mean, um, so as I mentioned uh, in my last skincare haul, I would be reviewing some sunscreens from um, uh, Asian sunscreens. So I've got a ton of sunscreens to go over with you guys and to start trying out um, per your request. And so later this later this week, I'll show you guys um, a, I'll show you guys all the sunscreens that I'm going to be trying out, as well as some kind of other new fun things. So stay tuned for that. Some of the stuff that you guys requested. But with that, let's get into it um, with some of my absolute favorites. And I have to say. Gateway into Asian skincare, and I apologize, um, I'm lumping Japanese and Korean into Asian skincare because those are the countries that I've tested the waters of. Honestly, shout out to Hadalabo. Neutrogena needs to take a lesson in, you know, from these guys. In my opinion, Neutrogena could really stand to be schooled properly. Um, I really think they're doing one over on them for sure. Um, I've really been enjoying basically every Hadalabo product that I picked up in my, my haul. Um, but for starters, I would say, all right, far and away my favorite product so far and the one that I definitely will repurchase and continue to reuse is the Hadalabo Skin Plumping Gel Cream. Um, if you're new here, guys, I'm a fan of using a hyaluronic acid-based gel, gel cream as a humectant to my face before applying a moisturizer. I think this is a great approach for every type of skin, whether it be dry, sensitive, oily, rosacea prone, you name it. And prior to this, I was using the Neutrogena Extra Dry uh, Sensitive Skin Hydro Boost Gel Cream. Um, and basically the goal with this is to create a moisture retaining sponge onto your wet face to kind of trap the water on there, um, slowing down the evaporation out of your skin. Uh, while then applying your moisturizer over that. And I love the Neutrogena suit, and I love the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Uh, it's great. Um, however, this one definitely um, does a one over in terms of its humectant uh, property. It's uh, a little bit of this goes a, a long way. It goes a lot further than the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. You don't need very much. I suspect that essentially they have just evaporated out more water of, out of their formula, and it's just more uh, concentrated humectant. Um, this is great. I think if you're oily, you will not have a problem with this. If you have rosacea prone skin, this does not have fragrance in it. Um, so if you're rosacea prone or sensitive, have sensitive skin, you should be okay in that regard. But again, I can never predict that for sure. And great for dry skin. I will definitely repurchase this. And this is now going to replace my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream, I can say with confidence. Um, I really, really love it. 
And a second favorite in the line has been for me, um, you know, this is a gateway oil-based cleansing for me. It is the Hadalabo uh, cleansing oil, which I have really been enjoying as a gentle mechanism to take my makeup off. Um, I showed how I did this in my oily skincare routine, so check that out if you missed it, my oily skincare uh, nighttime routine. But I've really been enjoying it, and I have noticed a significant difference in my skin from a hydration point of view, and also from a itching around the eyes point of view. I'm using far, far less abrasion to my, my eye area uh, with my finger pads using this method than I was using a gentle cleanser on its own. I mean, I really don't. This just kind of sits on there and, you know, is very, very gentle and nicely removes makeup as well as sunscreen. Disclaimer, I do not wear much makeup. Um, I don't like things left on my skin, so, um, you know, this seems to be great. This is the first oil-based cleansing thing that I have found, that I have tried, and I really love it, and now I know that I have a good go-to. I'm interested to test out others, um, but I know that I've got one that I can come back to and feel good about. Um, it's very gentle. Um, this should not be left on the skin, however, in my opinion. Oil should not be left on the skin, and I elaborate as to why in my oily skincare routine and so I've just been following it up with their hyaluronic acid um, foaming face wash and I enjoy this I don't think that this offers too too much over any other drugstore foaming face wash I do believe it is a slightly more hydrating in comparing it to the CeraVe foaming face wash I really don't think there's much of a difference this has a lot more foam level but foam guys is a kind of aesthetic property of the is, is more of an aesthetic cosmetic kind of thing. It doesn't equate to any actual skin cleansing, okay? It, it's sort of like a tingle, you know, in your mouth when you're brushing your teeth. It doesn't mean you're actually cleansing the skin. So, you know, it's got a lot of foam in it. If you don't like foamy things, then you probably would not like this, but I really love it. And the packaging is a lot cuter than any face wash. I mean, it's this cute little pump, and I, you get there's quite a bit in here, believe it or not. I mean, I've been using this um, nightly now for several weeks, and I barely made a dent in it. So a little bit goes a long way. Easily removes the oil um, quite easily in the shower. And I really like this, and I would repurchase this for sure. Um, and then also from Hadalabo, I um, have tried out their hyaluronic acid lotion, and I liked this too. I don't know that I would repurchase this. It doesn't have much of a role in my skincare routine as a minimalist to add another hyaluronic acid um, underneath a hyaluronic acid gel cream. So I'm probably, I'm going to finish this, um, but I'm not going to repurchase it. I think it's nice. It, it doesn't have any irritating ingredients in it. Um, so I think, you know, if you wanted to try a more watery version of a um, Hydro Boost or a Super Plumping Gel Cream, this would be a good one in that regard. I really, really liked it and will continue to use it alongside the Hot Labo Su Super Plumping Gel Cream but I probably will not necessarily repurchase it for myself because if you're new here, I like keeping things as minimalistic as possible. Simple, 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 few, few things to muddy the water. Okay, let's get a little probiotic sippage. It hits the back of your throat. Oh, it's good. All right, moving right along. Um, for those of you who are wondering, this is sweetened with stevia. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, alrighty. And then something else that I'm totally obsessed with, and you know, if it weren't so gosh darn hard to find these things, I, I really feel like I hit the jackpot with these. It is the um, Momotani White Moisture Essence Mask. Um, you guys have come to appreciate that I enjoy doing these sheet masks uh, more for, you know, um, what we call super tentorial effects. Super tentorium meaning, you know, in your head, basically. Um, I, I find it very relaxing to do one of these on the weekend. And this one, so far, has been my absolute favorite mask that I have ever done. I really love these. I love the way that this is a dispensing pack. Um, you know, whether or not the whitening essence is actually doing anything, I find that, you know, who knows. But I do notice that my skin is a lot brighter the next day. It definitely locks in the hydration. And I mean, after a long day, when you just want to, like, 
you know what I mean? If you're an introvert, I mean, you need to, you need to just, you just need to pull it all in. This is, this is the wrapping paper on your soul right here. I just really love this. I mean, I mean, extroverts might, will probably like it too, but being an introvert, I can only speak for myself. It has castor oil in it, which is, is fairly, you know, well tolerated. And the hydrolyzed rice extract, which I mentioned in my Q&A about Asian skincare ingredients, um, you know, is reported to have all of these antioxidants and, um, you know, components that can potentially portend a skin brightening effect. Of all of the things, um, you know, I really, really uh, thought that this was the, the luxury item. And I hope I can refine this. I, I hope I can find these again. I purchased this at a Japanese beauty store here in Houston. I feel like I hit gold because I can't find it anywhere online. Um, and then one of the other things that I picked up, and I um, don't think it has much of a role in my skincare routine, but if you're looking for um, some sort of a, um, you know, uh, facial cleanse, uh, some sort of a pad to remove makeup, I picked up these Clean Puffs. And I gotta say, I really like these over a cotton swab. Why, I don't know. I just found that they felt a lot nicer on the skin. Here, I'll show you one of them. I had one floating around here. Oh, here he is. Um, they kind of look a little bit like, um, do we have any crafters in the audience? They sort of look a little like, uh, you know, quilt batting or something. Um, the engineering on, the craftsmanship on these is quite nice. What I like about the, this is it's good for, you know, daubing in things, um, rather than the cotton ball, uh, because it, it holds on to the moisturizing ingredient in, in, a, in a nicer way, and it doesn't waste the product. Um, I think that, you know, for you making makeup folks and what have you that these are really nice um, you know I don't wear much makeup or really have much interest in pursuing all of these essence ingredients um, but if you are um, you know I, I definitely see the argument for these over just a straight-up traditional cot it's just a straight-up like cotton cotton ball and this box comes with 80 uh, in terms of a uh, packaging thing, I, I just think that this is a nicer way to store um, paper skincare products. And I feel like you go through a lot fewer of these than you would with cotton balls. Um, so perhaps a little bit better for the environment. But um, I don't know much about recycling um, cotton balls or these things. Comment below, got environmental folks. Um, I don't use cotton balls, so I don't know anything about recycling them. But I imagine you can recycle these too. This is Cotton Labo. Love those. But would not purchase for myself again. It was requested that I uh, test out some snail secretions, and I reviewed uh, in my Asian skincare Q&A, uh, ingredient Q&A, uh, you know, what data there is available in support of using snail secretions. And the one I've tried, you can actually now get at Target. Woohoo! Um, the goal, though, is to go into your Target and only come out with, with these things and not like $200 from, you know, the holiday section. Alrighty, um, but this is the Mizon or Mizon uh, multifunctional formula all-in-one snail repair cream. This is a Korean skincare product, and I did like this a lot. Um, however, I did not find it to be superior to the Hotalabo Super Plumping Gel Cream. I mean, this guy is winning as far as these gel-based things. Together, it's like. I don't know. I found it to be just excessive and in too many steps and largely and it seemed unnecessary. I didn't notice any sort of benefit in combining them. But, you know, I will say that this um, didn't seem very irritating. This did not cause any irritation or breakouts. Um, or anything like that for me. Um, it doesn't appear to contain fragrance. Um, I just don't think it's as good as either the Neutrogena Hydro Boost or the Hotalabo, definitely not as good as the Hotalabo Super Plumping Gel Cream. Um, so I will use this up, no problem, don't have a problem using it. I do th find it to do what it's intended as a humectant, but I don't really see the hype over this particular product. Comment below on other snail serums and snail creams uh, that you guys use and, and would recommend trying out in the future because I'm not I'm not giving up on the snail guys. I'm not giving up All right, the next product that I tried out is some things from cause rx. So um, The first one I'll talk about is the natural BHA skin returning a 
It's got um, lactic acid in it, which is an alpha hydroxy acid, glycolic acid, another um, uh, alpha hydroxy acid, as well as um, uh, a beta hydroxy acid, a salicylic acid. And it also has tea tree oil and then castor oil seems to be the, the vehicle. But it has a lot of alcohol. This is a, an alcohol-based toner, and so I did not care for this, and I don't think this would benefit many folks. Um, if you do use something like this, I would uh, favor using it and uh, leaving it on the skin for a few minutes to allow the acids to penetrate into the oil-bearing surfaces of your skin, and then uh, washing it off. I would not leave this on the skin. Uh, the alcohol content in this is too high. Uh, it will cause dryness and irritation. I believe uh, and has the potential to be problematic so I um, would not necessarily repurchase this for myself I don't think it's a bad product per se um, but I would caution you against leaving it on the skin because it is very drying and it does have a lot of acids in it um, but as far as I use beta hydroxy acid and a 2% salicylic acid face wash and that's what I will continue to use. I will not uh, repurchase this in the future. Okay, and so the other product from Cause RX that I um, tried and was not the least bit impressed with, but many of you guys say you use and like, um, so I can't attest to its powers for myself. However, I cannot uh, say that it did anything for me. It is the Galactomyces 95 Whitening Power Essence. Um, this I found to be very irritating and very drying on the skin, and I certainly did not look any brighter afterwards. This has niacinamide in it, which um, you know I use in all of my CeraVe products, and is helpful for reducing redness and um, you know can impart a brightening effect. And then it has the Galactomyces Ferment Filtrate. Um, I didn't care for this and um, I also got irritation around my eyes so um, I don't know what it is in this that did that to me maybe it's something with the um, galactomyces filtrate um, but uh, many of you use it and, and like it so um, you know there's that but um, another one that I was not a fan of and would not recommend to anybody are the Sabarino sheet masks um, they have too many botanic extracts, which can be irritating. Um, this product tells you you should leave these things on your face. I really don't think that you should. I think you should, if you use them, you, you should then wash them off uh, because they have the potential to be very irritating. And if put on, left on, and then exposed to the sun, also have the potential to cause post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. My mom, however, loves these bad boys um, and has been using them. And so I will uh, give these on over to her. Um, you know, if you like these and tolerate them well and they're not bothering you, there's no reason necessarily to stop. I just don't find them to be helpful and I would be worried that they would have more potential for harm, so I wouldn't waste my time on that one. Masks that I also loved, however, are the Cream Shop ones. I tried both uh, the His Sweet Little Penguin out and this is the um, Drink Up Skin Animated Facial Mask with, infused with moisturizing hyaluronic acid. And then the White Pearl Essence. I really like these for fun spa nights. And I did feel like my skin was softer and slightly brighter the next day after using both of these. So um, I like these. I don't think they're necessarily any better than the... Um, Momotani one. These, however, do have uh, quite a bit of alcohol in them, whereas the Momotani ones do not. And so, you know, around the eye area, it does sting. So if you have sensitive skin, these would not be good for you, but I really like them and will probably repurchase them for myself. Um, as far as other masks that I tried, um, coming along back to the snail, I tried these hand masks by Tony Moly, the um, Intense Care Snail um, Intense Care Snail Hand Mask, and these were fun. Um, I don't know that I would blow $8 again to repeat this because honestly, I don't find this to be any more efficacious in hydrating skin than just getting yourself a pair of these white cotton gloves at the drugstore. I think they're like, I don't know five bucks um, and you can reuse these. Um, slathering your hands in a thick and greasy moisturizer like uh, CeraVe or Aquaphor and then slipping these bad boys on and leaving them on. You know and you know you can repeat that a few nights in a week because you can let the you can let the moisturizer accumulate in here. 
um, and keep repeating it a few nights a week before you wash it and it'll build up in there and you get like a nice hydrating glove. So I actually think that this uh, drugstore methodology is a better use of your time and resources than this eight buck thing, than this eight dollar thing. However, I'm thinking that I will uh, do my own. I think I'm thinking that one way I'll go through my zone here is perhaps uh, doing my own rep repetition of the, the hand mask uh, with my white cotton glove. So more um, environmentally friendly that way. Uh, so that concludes everything that I've tried out so far. Like I said, I've got more stuff that's here in terms of the realm of uh, both sunscreen and then some other things that you guys had asked me to try out. Um, so I'm excited to share that with you later this week and uh, continue on. You guys seem to enjoy uh, my uh, feedback on these things in the vlog, so stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed the review. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.